What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Brianna Batani, and I am back with another video. So, for today's video, guys, um, in September, I had went to a sickle cell conference that I didn't vlog about. Um, I was supposed to, but I didn't. But this year, I am going to be talking about some drugs that are supposed to come out on the market or, or have already came out. And you know... I got my warrior babes so I had to let you guys know you know what's upcoming and what trials you guys can participate in if, if you have sickle cell or if you're a parent of a child that has sickle cell you can enroll your child in these trials now if you do not have sickle cell SS or sickle cell SC you cannot participate in these trials that is why I am not on any of the trials. I have a rare type of sickle cell called sickle cell S O Arab. And um, I unfortunately cannot join these trials, but I know a lot of you out there who have SSRC and definitely should take these drugs um, or not even take these drugs or at least try out on a trial and it should help you. Now for the first question, uh, drug this drug is out right now my doctor did prescribe it to me but I'm waiting for like insurance approval and all that stuff and this drug is called L-glutamine and now what L-glutamine does is it decreases the amount of pain um, episodes and um, it, get, it promotes oxygen in your uh, body so pretty much it's a drug that you have to um, take twice a day and you have to like mix it so it's like an old school drug oh my god i hate those if any of you guys have taken like um x jade for your high iron it's just like that so you have to like get orange juice and like mix it up and drink it or you can take water i think you can only use like certain um types of juices i have not taken it yet but i will start taking it probably this week insurance should approve it and um yeah, you have to take it twice a day, so that's the only thing. Just remembering to take it twice a day and um, be on top of it. It's shown to help people with SS and SC, so it should help people, other other people. But if you do not or have not heard of it, I would highly recommend you uh, talk to your doctor and see what they think about it. Um, doesn't hurt, and nine times out of ten, insurance will pay for it. So. The next one, now guys, I cannot pronounce this one, so do not laugh. Um, I'll have all of the names on the screen also, is uh, Chrisan Elizabeth. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. It will be on the screen. <clears throat> and basically, this drug stops the stickiness that causes pain, um, and it cuts the pain in half now this one is a treatment like uh option this is not out yet it should be out by the end of this year or the probably the middle i think that's what they were saying and it's a IV, it's iv um so you go in like it's pretty much like a blood transfusion you go in they infuse the drug you leave um now this one um I don't know about insurance and stuff, but if you do the trial, you'll get it done for free, sis. So talk to your doctor about it. Um, and it just, you know, anything to help with the pain, I would be on. So honestly, guys, I would really hop on these uh, medications, especially if you are a frequent flyer in the hospital. I would try them and... I would definitely try any of these if I was eligible. So if you're eligible, please try it. We need more drugs for um, sickle cell. There's only two, only two FDA approved drugs right now. And that's the L-glutamine and the hydroxyurea. I'm pretty sure majority of you watching this video are on hydroxyurea because it's one of the main drugs and now L-glutamine. So... Guys, one of the reasons why it takes so long for um, drugs to be approved is because they don't have enough people, you know, um, in the in the research. So the more people who um, 
are on a part of the trial can push these drugs out there you know we're always complaining about you know there not not being enough drugs here they're making them but nobody is you know trying them out so please guys if you are eligible and you only have to have ss or sc please try these drugs out we, to help people like us people who can't you know you know join the trials and there's also gbt 440 i did not write that down but gbt 440 is supposed to help decrease the amount of um pain crisis you have and that is very, very close to being approved. I think that'll be approved at the beginning of next year. I know a few people who are on a trial. Again, you can only do it if you have SSRSC. Please, guys, please join these trials. We need drugs because it's it's not helping blood, hydroxyurea, and L-glutamine is not enough. And we just need the drugs. Like I can't stress that enough. So the next one, River Pencil. River Pencil, I think that's how it's it. Again, it'll be on the screen. Um, it is an IV med that you get while you're in the hospital. Now, this drug you cannot get outside of the hospital. It's only while you're in the hospital um, to see if it will decrease your hospital stays. And while I was at the conference, they said that, you know, it did cut some sicklers, um hospital stays in half. So they did not stay as long as... Um, they usually stay so if you normally stay for a week i guess it cut it down to maybe three days and it's an IV medicine and um again please try this out the next one is vexillator vexillator and it's an oral pill that binds onto the hemoglobin to hold oxygen and they found that after one week it increased the hemoglobin to one so if your normal hemoglobin is around eight you'll be at nine um i think this is very good this will help you guys have more energy it'll help you not have to get blood because blood is not always the best option it's not um there's so many more consequences to blood like iron overload and um you have uh antibodies you have the risk of a lot of things so i would highly recommend out of all of these at least try vex vexillator because the more um oxygen you have in your blood the more the less you'll have to be in the hospital so i feel like that will help the most so i recommend that one um to try out for if you again are eligible to try out for these drugs the last thing and it is still being um worked on um only three hospitals have it and that is chicago new york and i think maryland but that's the i'm not 100 percent sure but i know i do know only three um hospitals have this type of care and it is called gene therapy and gene therapy is when they take your own bone marrow and tell it to not make sickle cells anymore because sickle cells are produced in the bone marrow, in case you didn't know, for those of you who don't have sickle cell. So this is on the way. It is uh it is like a, a bone marrow transplant, except you don't it minuses out the donor, so it's less risk of um the donor host disease i think that's what it's called host versus donor disease so it cuts that out and if you guys don't have a, a match then there you go um if you are in chicago illinois or probably maryland i would hot i mean why did i say illinois <laughs> if you're in chicago new york i think it's at columbia presbyterian or mount sinai i think it's columbia presbyterian presbyterian and um maryland bethesda i would highly highly recommend you talk to your doctors about this especially at the one in new york i know one person who was cured by gene therapy and they are doing wonderful so um take advantage of that if you are in those three areas and 
If you are in North Carolina, like I am, it is coming to Duke University in the next two years. So if you want to wait for that, you can wait for that. I have to wait for that because I unfortunately do not live in New York anymore. And uh, most of my family is out here. And once you go through gene therapy, you have to pretty much live in the state that you're getting it done at because of all the doctor's appointments and stuff. They like to see you like pretty much every single day after the infusion. So yeah, if you have not heard of gene therapy, please talk to your doctor about it, especially if you live in those three states. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's a very, um, please take advantage of this guys. Um, again, we do not have a lot of drugs out on the market for sickle cell because a lot of people do not join and I get the reasons. I mean, you don't want to feel like a guinea pig, but you also have to have to think about like other people who may need this disease and can't join a trial because they don't have SS or SC. They may have um, sickle beta thalassemia, a whole bunch of other things. So if you like more videos like that, like this, please let me know down below. And don't forget to let me know what you'd like to see from me, Brianna Tiny. And with that, I'll see you next time.